What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. Now I have six tweaks here that I'm going to be walking you guys through so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first tweak I want to show you guys is called App Control. Now this is a really cool tweak. It's going to let you do quite a few things to specific applications. So the best way to talk to you about this is to just show you. So to activate this tweak all you need to do is swipe up on the application that you want to change or configure. So let's go ahead and do this on the settings icon. So we're just going to swipe up and you can see that we get this nice little fade in animation with some settings here that we can assign to that application. So right up here if you just tap the X then it's going to close out and it's going to save your settings as well. Now right here you can change the name of the app right there. Just We'll change that up just to setting just to show you guys. You can also add a password. So if you toggle that on then you can start to enter your password right here and we'll just put it as LOL. Scrolling down here, you also have some more options. You can change the volume of that specific application. So when you open up that app or when you open up settings, the volume is going to uh, change to whatever level you have right here. And then right below here, you have brightness. So of course, the same thing, just like the volume. Once you open up the application, the brightness is going to increase just like that. You can also hide the preview. So if you want to tap that, to toggle that on then it's going to hide the preview within the app switcher. Now if you decide that you don't like these settings you can always just tap restore and it'll go back to default. But we're going to keep it just like this. We're going to tap out of this and it says need to respring to apply changes. So we're just going to tap OK. Alright so now that we're resprung you can see if we tap on this you're going to notice that the brightness level is going to increase as well as the volume which you won't be able to tell but you'll notice by the uh, brightness as well as a password. So we're going to tap on that and then we have to enter our password which is LOL, tap OK and then when we open that up you can see the brightness actually got quite a bit brighter. So this is just a cool tweak that's going to let you configure your applications in a few different ways. Next up we have a tweak called Glow Badge. Now you can see right here that I have a badge notification on my Game Center. But you'll also notice that there's an aura or a glow right behind that icon and that's due to Glow Badge. Now you can change the color of the glow if you want to do that within your settings. You can also hide the badge notification in order to make it just look a little more minimalistic. Now you can see on this page that I have quite a few Glow Badges going on right here. Now I do want to mention that if you have a ton of badges like I do right here it could slow down your device just a little bit as you can see if I try to open up an application it's just a little bit laggy but otherwise if you don't have as many on your springboard then it's not really going to be that big of an issue. But let's jump into the settings real quick here and we're going to scroll down to glow badge and open that up and you can see that you can enable it right here and you can also hide the badge so if we want to do that we'll just toggle that on and then we can change the color right here so you have quite a few colors you have yellow random dark gray light gray and then you have all these all the way down to black so for this demonstration let's go ahead and try out the black now one other thing to mention is you will have to respring in order for this to take effect but it doesn't tell you that but I'm just going to be using power tap right here another tweak that's going to allow me to respring really quick so we're just going to slide to respring. All right, so now that we're resprung, if we swipe over here, you can see it quite a bit better. You can see the black glow behind the icons. And it's actually kind of hard to tell, but within the description of the tweak, it says that the glow actually intensifies depending on the number of badges you have. So it will be a much larger or brighter glow if you have more badges on that app than let's say an app with one badge notification. Next tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called Blow to Unlock. Now this is kind of a silly tweak. It's not extremely useful for uh, many uses that I can think of, but what it allows you to do is blow on your device in order to unlock it. So it's going to wake it up and unlock. And you can see right here, if I go ahead and lock the device and blow on it, you can see that it automatically will wake up and unlock the device. Again, not extremely useful, but just kind of funny. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to throw it in here. But you can see right here, if we go into our settings, you can enable it. You can change the sensitivity if you're having any issues with it not unlocking. And you can also blow to unlock or blow just to wake the screen. So if we toggle off blow to unlock, when we blow on it, it should just wake up and not unlock the device, as you can see right there. So again, this is blow to unlock, just kind of a goofy free tweak that you guys can try out. Next up we have a free tweak called Big Bubbles. Now what this tweak does is give you a large preview of the pictures that you send within your messages app. So it's just going to be just like iOS 8. Now you can see right here if we tap on this and we choose existing, if we tap on our camera roll let's just choose a picture right here and we're going to choose that and you can see a large preview right there and if we go ahead and send that off 
you can see how large that preview is in comparison to what you would usually see within the messages application. So that's all this tweak does, no options to configure, just gives you bigger previews within your messages app. Next up we have a tweak called Invisualizer. Now what this tweak does is give you a visual of the audio that's either playing on your device or even in this case it's going to be my voice and it's going to be playing right there on the lock screen. So you can see right here you're going to get a visual of this theme right here which is actually called Lotus. So every time that I talk you can see that it's reacting to my voice or the audio in the background. Now these aren't incredible or by any means but I do want to show you guys this just because it's possible that this could be uh, a pretty cool tweak in the future with some cool animations or cool themes that we have set up right here. So just to show you guys another theme let's jump into the settings and here are the forms that the visuals can take. So you can do full screen, sound bars, quad circles, pedal shifters, lotus which is what I was using just now, termites, axiom, or just random. So we're just going to do random and then we're going to turn this on and off a few times. And then right here is actually where you can change the color. So if we wanted to change that up to maybe a magenta or a purple, then you can go through and select whichever color that you like the best. Now of course you can change the visibility right here. We're just going to move this down just a little bit and I'm going to show you exactly what this has done with those changes. So this is just the full screen. So you can see every time that I talk, it goes up. So let's unlock and we'll try a different one. All right, so now here's a different one right here. And you can see what that does. Every time that you talk, they just spin. And when you stop, they go straight. So we'll slide to unlock and we'll do one more. And then here you go, here's another one. Now another cool thing about this tweak about InVisualizer is you can tap and hold on the animation and it's going to allow you to start recording an audio file. So you can see right here if I just start to tap and hold, then it turns red and then it's going to automatically start recording my voice and record a memo. When I let go, you can see that you get a pop-up right here. It says, do you want to save your recording? Called recording one. And you can actually set a reminder to this recording, you can just save the recording or you can dismiss it. So we're going to save it yes with a reminder and then once you decide on the time frame that you want to be reminded, then you can just tap set and then you're going to get a reminder with that audio. So we're going to delete it and then we're just going to do a really quick audio file right here and then we're going to come off, we're going to save that and then you'll notice a button right down here, it's actually a little grabber knob that you can slide up. When you slide up, you're going to get your voice memos and you can play them right there. So you can see exactly how that works. So that's a pretty nifty little tweak right there to begin with. Just being able to tap and hold on the lock screen and record a voice memo. So you can do this really quick. Now the next tweak I want to show you guys is called Better NF. And NF meaning Better Netflix. So if you guys are huge Netflix fans like I am, I watch it on my iPad all the time. But I'm going to be showing you that on my iPhone right now. So if we jump into our Netflix, this is basically going to give you a lot more information and I usually have a really hard time finding what I want to watch on Netflix just because there's so much to choose from and it's really hard to just choose and then start watching it. So you can see right here what this does. Let's say we were going to tap on Shooter. So we'll tap on Shooter and you can see that we actually get some more information right here. We get the IMDB score, we get the Rotten Tomatoes critic score, and then we get the Rotten Tomatoes user score. So this is going to give you a better idea of what other people think about this movie so it's going to help you make your decision on what you want to watch next. Now that's not all that this does, it also gives you some information once you start playing the video. So if we start to play here you'll be able to see right up here at the top left hand corner that it's going to give us some stats on what we're doing. So we're going to close out of that and then all you need to do is double tap right up there in the top left hand corner and you can see what resolution it's playing at, what it's buffering at, it's playing in 480p right now at 1050 kilobits per second and it's downloaded a total of 5 megabytes or 6 megabytes and that'll go up just like that. Now if you want to get rid of it, double tap and it's going to go away just like that. So that's better NF, just giving you a little bit better experience on Netflix and hopefully helping you make your decision on what you want to watch next. All right, guys, so that's what I have here for this week of the best tweaks of the week. Let me know what you guys think about those in the comments below. And if you want to see more best tweaks of the week videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. All right, guys, until next time, peace.